Welcome to this uh, radio channel, VHF, UHF, everything about, above 30 megahertz. And today we're going to talk about part of the spectrum of uh, VHF, UHF. And this is the first part in a series where we're going to check different frequency ranges and what types of signals that you might hear. So, um, the lowest part of most scanners usually starts around 30 megahertz. There's a little bit of variance. There are some that you know start at 28, 29. Uh, my Pro 2006 starts at 25. But in general, most receivers start pretty much around 29 or 30 megahertz. And this is um, what we called on some very old scanners VHF low band. The VHF spectrum, very high frequency, spans officially from 30 megahertz all the way to 300 megahertz. But it's kind of subdivided into the high VHF and the low VHF. So 30 to 54 megahertz is the first part spectrum we're going to check for. Um, first, you'll need a long antenna you know very often the little rubber ducky antennas that are with the scanners aren't very good at that frequency range so if your antenna looks like this then you might want to have something better for 30 to 54 for example I have one here which is a long whip with a uh, little tuning coil in the center you see how long it is this is a good antenna for 30 to 54. It's longer, gets more signals because the uh, wavelength at 30 megahertz is uh, much bigger than uh, higher VHF, UHF. What can you hear? Well, 30 to 50 megahertz is a mishmash of a lot of stuff. Um, some local police uh, law enforcement might still be there. I know in the United States there are a few uh, law enforcement that are still um, actually using that frequency. Um, you will hear all sorts of signals from the military, from police, from uh, utilities, even some companies um, that might use this range. So while I'm talking, I'm going to actually scan the range here and see if we uh, catch anything interesting. Um, here in southern Quebec, it's not a frequency range that's used a lot. I don't hear a lot of signals. Um, I do hear a few companies in the um, 40 megahertz, around 40 megahertz. But apart from that, there's not a lot of stuff. One of the old, old ranges of um, actually cordless phones uh, goes from about 42 to 47 megahertz so in that range 43 44 45 46 megahertz um, I haven't heard one in a very long time but this is a cordless phone range frequency so maybe if some of your neighbors still have one of those old phones around but um, here I believe it's been at least several years since I've heard any signals in the cordless phone range. Now, one word, if you live in the United States and you bought your scanner in the United States, you might have a little spot here where there's no reception or your scanner just jumps over it because in the um, Communications Act that was passed many years ago, uh, the cordless phone frequency here is illegal to listen to in the United States, I believe. So, uh, you can check for that. Uh, as you see here, it's scanning and there's not a lot of signals and um, basically that's pretty much what it looks like around here. One part where I have signals and that I usually hear something is in the 49 megahertz. 49 megahertz from 49 to 50, it has what we, uh, you know, a lot of signals from uh, baby monitors and uh, also any types of um, radio control toys so from 49 to 50 
to 50 megahertz. You might hear, for example, this is one. When you hear this, somebody's listening to the TV or radio. This is a baby monitor. And around here, I actually have a lot. And so if you scan 49 to 50, uh, and you're in a big city, you'll hear baby monitors, that's pretty much for sure. So that's something you can check for. Uh, one, one thing that I used to do younger, I, don't, I, I haven't done this in a while, but was to just let my radio scan from 49 to 50. And I'll put it in my jacket with earphones, and I just walk around the different uh, streets listening to the different baby monitors as I go around and uh, that was kind of fun um, also when the cordless phones were in the 46 megahertz range I would do that with cordless phones at the same time so I pick up all the phone conversations while I was walking around and finally you have 50 to 54 megahertz which is the amateur radio 6 meter band which is a very interesting band um, and if you have a regular scanner more like uh, you know this my, uh, my my Pro 92 here uh, what you'll have mostly is FM signals that you can hear so uh, maybe you live somewhere where there's an FM repeater or if you ever have e-skip you can maybe hear even FM signals from far away so this is the 6 meter ham band. If you have a communications receiver like I do, then I would put it in the uh, USB mode here because um, around 50.100 50 to 50.120, uh, this is the calling frequency and upper sideband of amateur radios. So the 6 meter ham band. Uh, as far as propagation, how far does 30 to 54 megahertz go well that's an interesting thing because shortwave stops at 30 megahertz and well you know nature in the ionosphere didn't say well oh it's 31 megahertz I'm not propagating far uh, when solar activity is higher like it is actually now and even in the summer when we have some um, things called sporadic e-skip which is patches of very very dense ionization that actually make very high frequency signals propagate 30 to 54 megahertz can actually give you signals thousands of miles away um, in the summer with sporadic e I've heard cops uh, you know arresting robbers or chasing cars as far as Texas and Florida. Uh, I've heard um, many, many American utility companies. Um, so, depending on the conditions, 30 to 54 megahertz should be scanned regularly because you never know what you can hear. And when there's very high solar activity or most of the time sporadic E, you can hear from 50 to 54 megahertz amateur radio operators from thousands of miles away. I've actually heard a CW Morse code signal with my ICOM ICR 8500 in the 50 megahertz range from Mexico. So it gives you an idea when you want to try for something far away, the band is, uh, you know, that frequency range can be very, very amazing at times. So uh, why not take a peek? and try to listen to. And one of the things that you should understand is that it's not because you don't hear any signals that you shouldn't scan regularly a frequency band. That's very important. Uh, remember that signals are very, very sporadic. Uh, you know, some companies there won't talk every minute. They might talk only every half hour. So by leaving your scanner uh, actually going through this frequency range, uh, you will probably hear something at some point, uh, I'm pretty sure, even if you live far away from a big city. Because um, there are signals to be heard on that frequency range. And when there's no skip that gives thousands of miles away, well, the usual line of sight distance is pretty much what uh, we get. Maybe 30, 40, 50 miles um, around where you are. But of course, with a good antenna. If you have that little rubber ducky, 
you won't have as many signals and you won't find that the reception is as good on the 30 to 54 megahertz range. So this is the VHF low video, 30 to 54 megahertz. And uh, why not scan that frequency range with your radio um, and write down in the comments what you heard. So if you enjoy our videos, well, hope that you will subscribe and uh, many more videos to come. So thanks for watching. And if you're a shortwave listener and haven't seen my other channels, I have the official SWL channel also that is uh, shortwave only. So thanks for watching, 73.